Hey guys, today I want to speak to you about Satan reaching you. I don't know if you've lately felt it or lately seen it, but it's almost like the devil is able to reach people. It's almost like Satan is being able to reach people's faith, people's confidence, people's money, people's family, people's dreams and people's purposes. I don't know if you've know, known this, but it feels like almost like the devil is breaching and is breaching successfully. He's coming too close. I want to remind you again what the scripture is saying to you and you might find yourself in this category right now. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians uh, chapter number 6 and verse number 16, above all taking the shield of faith by which you are able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Now you have to know that when the Bible says above all, it doesn't mean more important than the helmet of salvation or the breastplate of righteousness or the shield of faith or the sword of the spirit or the shoes of peace. When the Bible says here above all, it really means in front of all. You have to put your faith in front of you. You have to remain confident in the faith. Now you can ask yourself, how does faith come? Well, very simply, faith comes by hearing and hearing comes by the word of the Lord. Romans chapter number 10, verse number 17. In other words, you have to fill your ears with the word of God because that will produce faith. The second way that faith is produced is by praying in the Holy Spirit. Jude chapter 1 verse number 20. And the third way that faith is produced is by putting your mind back into the scriptures and by renewing your mind daily. The Bible says we have the responsibility to let the word of Christ dwell in us richly. Colossians chapter 3 and verse number 50. Now Satan is shooting off fiery darts all the time. These fiery darts are designed to cause havoc and destruction in your life. A fiery dart was something that was created that looked like a bamboo shaft and inside of the shaft was a combustible fluid that whenever it would have hit the target, it would have caused destruction. Now, God is saying to you again today, take up that shield of faith and place it in front of you. When a Roman soldier went to battle and went to war, they each received a shield of faith that was exactly according to their height, their width, and also their place in the army of the Roman soldiers. In other words, when God has sent you into the field, into the faith, into His mission and into His plan, He has supplied you with the necessary faith and the necessary abilities to be an overcomer and to be successful. And lastly, we have to renew our minds continuously by reading and studying the word of the Lord. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse number 16 to 17, that the word of the Lord is able to teach us in all matters of righteousness. Therefore, if you feel like the enemy has breached you and all the havoc is taking place in your life, it might be that you've just taken up something else and you've dropped your shield of faith. You've dropped your faith in God. When Paul wrote this, by the way, he was writing to one of the biggest churches in ancient times. He was writing to the church of Ephesus, that was a church of about 100,000 people. And these people needed to be reminded to get back into the faith. And so today I want to remind you, get back into the faith. Get back into the Word, get back into prayer, get back into standing, and get back into doing what God has told you to do. And that, my friend, is only found in the Word of the Lord and in the communion of the Holy Spirit. Many, many battles will come to you. But praise be to God, you have been equipped with all the necessary equipment to take territory. So take territory today. Stand and move forward with your faith, pushing forward in full confidence that God would fulfill that what He said concerning you. Take up that shield and let's move forward in the faith, trusting God that cannot fail in Jesus' name. Hey guys, I'm Gebhard Barrent and first and foremost, I want to thank you for being part of our online family. And to be part of our online family, I want to ask you today to help us share the gospel by hitting that subscribe button. You are very important to us and we don't want you to miss anything that we are doing. So subscribe and subscribe today as we see the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ being established and being extended online.